I really wish I could eat that, but unfortunately I can't. Unless I pee in the street, I might, just to... <laughs> I, I mean, this is... Okay, no, uh, let's talk to you, just to introduce ourselves, but then I'm going to eat. Hey, I'm Giuseppe Mezzalto, have we met Summer before? My memory is hazy. Ever since I got out of the sim while I slumber of her treatment done, just to forget my past. Uh, yep. I love that all of the people that were in Sim Valley, I'll talk to you as well, but later. All of the people that were in Sim Valley, that were in, in Bastion Out, uh, always say, have we, have, have we seen each other before? You know? Uh, but yeah, no, let's buy a few of these. Oh, hello there. He's also one of my favorites. I always love to romance him. What are you doing, friend? All the cats around here call me cannibal, call me. I'm the sweetest horn. I'm the sweetest horn player this side of the Milky Way. I thought you had a quest for me. I guess no. I might be remembering wrong then. Oh, before we go, there is definitely a zizzle bead here. Let's go. Okay, fine. Let's go home. It's right here anyway, so. Okay then, now, um, let's see, my objectives right now are, um, well, befriend Maximilian more, so we could do that. Uh, give the shrunken herd, okay. But, where is she? She was around here! <laughs> I lost her, oh well, she's gonna be here again. Uh, let's go talk to Maximilian, why not? We do need social. I guess he's not here. Well, there's nobody in the hospital. If we die, it's um, it's his fault. Let's talk to you and what's up? What's up? I want to start racing bikes. You're the one Dusty Oak was talking about. I think that man needs a pair of glasses. You don't look like an expert rider to me. How hard could racing bikes at 140 miles per hour be? It's certainly safer than falling off a 100 story building. But if you want to join our track, you're going to have to prove your dedication. What do I have to do? I'm working on a heavy construction project for the DP right now. I won't have much time for lunch breaks. If you bring me lunch for three days and pay the truck fee to Dusty, I'll approve your membership. Easy. Wait, right, I'll miss you between 12 and 1 at the Chopper Garage. See you then. <clears throat> so this is one of those that I... I always... It, it's a little annoying because it needs to be three days in a row, but it's only one hour. It's only between 12 and 1 p.m. So it's annoying because sometimes you're just like if I go have fun now, for example, I'm going to have to be on that. Uh, it's, what can I do now to have fun, actually? I don't think I can do anything. I need to wait until... Okay, I'll, I'll wait a little more. Uh, but... Yeah. But like, if, I, if I'm if i sleeping, for example, I, need, I would need to wake up in time to go to him and give him the thing. And if I have, like, right now, if, I, if it were 12 a.m., uh, 12 p.m., rather, and I talk to him, I wouldn't be able to to give him anything because it will say, you know, I'm too I'm too stressed out or something. I need to have fun, so I wouldn't be able to talk to him, and I wouldn't be able to give him stuff. I'll talk to her in a little bit. First, I need to boogie. Stanley, it's super to meet you! My name is Lottie Cash. I work at a coffee shop just outside town, but it's only until I get my inheritance. Oh my gosh, I remember you! I saw your club sizzle last night, right? Was that wicked or what? Um, Club sizzle? What's that? 
You look up, Cecil. You work there, right? You're the court room person? On running this life, I'm not. Are you sure? I could have sworn that was you. You look like a court checked person anyway. Yeah. God, I love her. She's mean, but uh, look at her. She's iconic. I. Amazing. Um, I want to go to Club Cecil, please. She's one of the ones that I was saying I I will miss romancing uh, the girls in this because I would with her. I mean, I would with all of them, like I always do. I will romance anybody that is romanceable, but um, I love her. What do you like, see? It's not up to me. Talk to Crystal. Her parents are in the place. Impress her, hang out with her, and maybe she'll give it a lot of That's another thing. I always try to do the UM thing before or after the, the club sizzle one with Crystal. Because basically with Crystal, we're going to need to go on a date and um yeah take crystal out on the town it wasn't even a spoiler it's exactly uh the, it's it's right there already and uh oh it is 12 p.m uh here take this corn dog two more and we'll be square let's go Okay, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you need to take her out on town, and I think it, if you talk to other people, she will just get annoyed and leave you, so you can talk to you when, when you're with her, and uh, you know, it takes a while for her to, to do stuff, so... Oh, come on, can I sleep on, on one of these? Yes, I can! Nice! <laughs> okay, let's talk. Lucy, I'm Dr. Maximilian Lohr. Please don't be offended if I run off suddenly. I'm the only doctor in town, so I try to prevent other people from getting me sick. He's also in, uh, in busting out, but uh, we need to get level, uh, I mean, not level, but like uh, 30 relationship with him. So let's talk about stuff. Okay, let's eat something. The only one that's left. We will need to buy another one. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Have to pee. Oh, god damn it! There's no bathroom in in this hospital. Um, fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure there is a bath. Um, I was gonna say there is a bathroom in the in the pub, but <laughs> it's the same distance as my house. So let's go. Now, I don't know if you would like to see me. I mean, I'm gonna cut out most of the uh, tending to my needs anyway. So, I don't know if... I mean, I might do again the same thing that I did with uh, Busty Now, which, which is uh, do the cheat to have the, the needs all at, uh, at the top always. Um, I mean, just let me know if you wouldn't mind that because that would make me focus more on the story which is what I'm gonna put in the thing anyway oh hey see what's up you've got a nice singing voice thanks I think so too but the only person in this town whose musical opinion matters doesn't think the same so whatever is lame who's that? It's a called Cannonball, call him up. The musician. He's a genius, I guess, but if you want him to get your gig in town, you have to get on his good side. Uh, which side is that? Right or left? See, that was a metaphor, hello. He wants creative people to help him write lyrics and stuff, and he likes it when you buy him things like saxophone reeds and all jazz records. Maybe I should talk to him? Yeah, right. If he doesn't like my lyrics, Urbania is the town where low, low prices abound. Then he definitely wants to use any of yours. 
we'll see about that. So that's why I remembered uh, Cannonball giving me a quest. It wasn't really Cannonball, but it was mainly revolving around him. Uh, okay, so... Um, I guess... Before the place closes, let's go buy more food. Oh, I need to befriend him. Gotcha. Um, like, it's not a quest yet. It's not something I can talk about yet. So, I guess let's befriend him. Let's do that. And then I will need to buy a saxophone reed, so let's go do that. Uh, and let's sell all of this stuff. Because I don't think we need it, do we? I don't think so. But here's a saxophone reed. Let's see, is there anything else that we might want to do? Oh, a guitar would be nice. This I have in the jail, so why would I buy it? Um, I could get a, a stove. I don't have money, what am I saying? Oh, I could get my charisma up here. Okay, right. And I could get my creativity up here. So let's do that for a while until uh, it's time to give you a lunch. <clears throat> Okay, that took less than I expected, so I guess let's perform a soliloquy in the meantime. Let's just get a few skills up. Oh wow, even that took way less than I expected and it's still not enough to... I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be there really on time, but... Um... Yeah, that was perfect. There we go, one more and we'll be square. Okay, let's go see if uh, Maximilian is in. He is! Okay, we're almost there with him, so... Just a few more things. There we go. What's up? Doctor, I'd like to unrail, unroll, unrail, enroll at Neopolis University. The application deadline was last week, but I do have one space left in my academic hypochondria PhD program. Maybe that interests you? Academic hypochondria? What's that? It's a program designed to study and teach the benefits of being deathly afraid of every disease of this planet. If you're interested, I'll need you to help me with my research. So, what do I do? There is a plant I need, the Artemisia herb, which grows in wet, dark outdoor locations. If you can find a fresh batch and give it to me within one hour of harvesting it, I'll let you on my research team. No problem, sounds easy. Oh, and you would love to show me a sample of your scholarly writing, too. I don't want any dolls on my research team. Good luck, see. Okay. Now, um, I don't remember about the plant, so I'm assuming that the plant is somewhere around here, maybe at night. Oh, no, that wasn't it. That's just a strawberry. Oh well, we'll see, but um, what? My bed has been robbed? Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Yeah, my bad bed has, has, <laughs> my bed has been robbed, so I guess I'll have to go sleep in the hospital. Oh, this sucks. I mean, apparently this is really comfortable, but... but look at the comfort go up. But yeah, no, this is... this sucks. Okay, so... Oh, what's that? What is that? What? Okay, I think this is it, but if I get it... 
it'll have to be in one hour so you see here okay it's there hopefully I can get it to him in time hopefully it doesn't disappear while I get it there we go Okay, now that I see it, actually, I do remember this part. <laughs> Wonderful, see? I'll need to process this right away. Okay, and um, the next thing I need... Okay, let's talk to him. We do need social, so let's become friends with him. Okay, there we go. What's up? Phoebe tells me you've been a little depressed. She's got her rear to the ground, that's for sure. Can you help a struggling musician with a reef or two? What do you say? Sure, that would be super swell. Super swell? Hold on, Kai. Until you learn how to get a little more creative with your speech ideas. I'm not going to trust you with any of my music. Try studying some of the local graffiti. Okay, Nadio, let's swing. I mean, okay, th that's because I did study. I was gonna say, I did study. So that was the thing about that told me, uh, okay. Never mind. I mean, y they could have just had something that says, if you've studied the things already, we can skip this part, we can change the answer or something, but no, okay, it's fine. Groovy, baby. Here's the deal, I've been asking about this new tune all day, but the vocals part got a real clunk of a rhyme. It's just awful, real cornball. You want me to help you write your lyrics? Yeah, let's read for a while. I'll tell you what I've scribbled so far, and you come up with the best rhyme. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Out of sight, here's the first lyric. I'll sing it, and you'll write the rhyme. Strolling or Benny, yeah? the moon on the bricks, adult in the scene. Kids, up to all tricks. Yeah, that's it. I can feel that. Okay, the next line goes: She loved the night. She loved the night. Feeling so groovy. Feeling so right. Groovy cat, groovy. The third couplet starts: My heart's hurting, but I mean ache, heavy like stone. And she loves a lake. Oh, that is too much. Beautiful. Now the last line is, look through my pockets to find what I need. But what I am got is a saxophone reed. Yeah, that's the stuff. What a sweet tune, my friend. Thanks for that lyrical jam session. You're right. So speaking of, I actually do have a saxophone reed just for you. Well, shine my shades and call me a mirror. I'll be darned if a saxophone reed isn't just what I need. You can never have too many of these babies. Listen, see, you're a solid sideman. A real hip cat with a knack for words. I'm going to talk to the club owner and get you a regular gig at open mic night. How would you like that? That would be wild, Mr. Cannonball, sir. I knew you'd think so. You stop by the club anytime and stay swinging, my friend. Why, thank you. So now we've finished that goal. Um, we finished this one. And creativity one. The, that was it with the graffiti. But uh, I was ahead of you. So, yeah. Oh, it's already 6am. Wow, okay. So... Okay, what do we do now?